SEO is absolutely dead. What are you talking about? Welcome to episode number five of Business After COVID. Today, I'm not going to talk about the regular SEO and Google algorithm update. I want to talk specifically about what happened after COVID. So if you're not aware, uh, in 2020, early 2020, the case study said that there is more than 55 uh, percent of homes in uh, the States that have um, a voice activated device like Google Home or Alexa. And while we know but, and by the way, 55% is that's millions and millions of homes, right? It's a big market. And while we know that the majority of the usage of these home uh, uh, um, devices are for entertainment, you can like play your videos or play your songs or even ask Google to crack a joke. But there is a rising uh, a, a search in the, the way we use conversational searches. And this is different than the way we search regularly on our phone or our desktop, but with Google Homes, uh, imagine about it like you're searching for a, a topic that you, you wanna invest in or a company or you wanna find the best pizza place close to you while you're having a, a, a chat with your partner. So it's a very, in kind of the conversation kind of, you can bring Google Home into this. And, and here's the mind blowing part that Big companies are actually missing out on this, and it's kind of a playing field for for everyone. And let me let me show you how. Hey Google, how to buy a house in Toronto? On the website slclawyer.ca, they say seven tips on buying a house. So on a topic like this, like if you're searching on your desktop or something like that, you expect to see an article from Remax or the Toronto Star or a big like player in the real estate market. But here it's a lawyer website blog section. That's how like crazy this is because the comparison between like a Remax and a, a real estate lawyer and domain authority and regular SEO is like massive. But they're the only answer that actually Google give. Sometimes Google give, I, they say, I found more than one answer and then they give you different ones. But this is the only one that they said. So we started like testing with this idea and I want to show you how we kind of used it for ourselves. Hey Google, who is the best white label SEO service provider? Here is some information from the web that might possibly help. On the website greenlotus.ca, they say, Green Lotus is USA and Canada's most trusted white label. So this is how we're actually like testing it and, and developing those techniques to our clients. But the most mind blowing part is that big brands are not even allowed to enter this domain with monetization. Uh, Google have not released any information about how you can monetize voice search and all of this stuff. So we have a good year to five years, depending on how Google kind of see the technology developing. And the other thing is that you don't need to have massive domain authority. You can actually take advantage of this and, and, and you can do this. And I, I want you to know one thing about the, the whole idea of SEO is dead or not. There is nothing in this Google Home other than a speaker. So the Google ranking algorithm that works for uh, desktop and uh, mobile is kind of the same algorithm. So if you have a good SEO strategy, you can do few steps more and you can start ranking on Google voice searches. And it's not really that hard. You can search about it. We have a couple of articles on Green Lotus on it. And if you have any questions uh, or you want me to speak more about this topic, please post those questions in the comment below. But for now, enjoy your day.